Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about our base, talking about foundations. So right now as we are in the spring and slowly moving into the summer months, personally I am starting to ditch my more mattifying, full coverage, heavy foundations and swapping them out for something that's a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more spring and summer appropriate. And in this video, I want to share my four, my top four picks for that very natural effortless look. So these are very lightweight foundations. These, a lot of them have lighter coverage. Some of them you can build up to something a little bit more substantial, but for the most part, they really start in that light to medium area, but they just sit so beautifully on the skin and they mimic your own skin's natural texture. And many of them are basically undetectable on the skin. So if you are looking for that effortless, easy spring summer base, this video is for you, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Oh, I did wanna mention, I did recently do a foundation ranking video where I ranked every foundation that I own. So if you wanna hear some more in-depth thoughts on some other foundations in my collection that don't necessarily fit into these categories, I will leave it down below. Also, before the new year, so back probably in December, I filmed a products for dry skin video. So. If you are fit into that category and you're looking for some base products that you think will work with your skin type, I will leave that link down below as well. So I'm going to start with the lightest coverage and move up. So this is for someone who wants basically a bare face, but you just wanna kinda of amplify it a little bit. You wanna smooth it out slightly and kind of just start to even out the skin tone, but nothing significant. This is the Undone Foundation from, or no, excuse me, I always wanna say this. The brand is Undone and the foundation is called the Unfoundation. So it's essentially a sheer skin tint. It's straight up watery in the container and it just comes out very thin and very liquidy. Now, I have a big recommendation. If you're using a product like this that is very thin and very runny, basically the thinner the foundation, I would recommend a brush because if you're trying to blend this out with a sponge, the sponge is going to suck up all of the product and this already has such minimal coverage to it that if you use a sponge, you really aren't going to get any of the benefits. So with this and any other very thin foundation, I always recommend going in with a brush. So I have mine in the shade Two Pink Petal Light and this product is basically just a water almost that you apply over top of the skin and it kind of sets in. And I feel that if I really build up one to two layers, again with a brush or even with my fingers, I can get a nice, somewhat even finish on the skin. It's not going to cover up acne, it's not going to cover up scarring, hyperpigmentation, but if you are looking for minimal work for like a beach day, you just run into the grocery store, but you wanna throw on something, this is a fantastic product to do that with. Next, again, a very effortless product. You've heard me talk about this a lot recently. It's my current go-to. This is the four-in-one mineral pressed foundation from Pure Cosmetics. So this is a powder foundation and I don't always feel like powder foundations look incredibly natural. Sometimes you'll apply them and they just look powdery on the skin and you can see them setting on top of the skin. But with this product in particular, it really melts into the skin as you start to blend it around. It kind of works in with your natural oils to really combine and just look like a second skin sitting on top. So. I don't think that this looks powdery, especially if you set it down. If you're concerned with this or any powder setting spray, setting spray, what? Powder, looking powdery on the skin, take a setting spray, spritz it over the skin and either take a brush or your sponge and push it in and it's going to look natural. This, if you apply just one layer, you're going to get very minimal coverage, but you can definitely build this up to get something a little bit more full if you are looking for some coverage. With a product like this, I definitely recommend doing your liquids beneath it. So if you're going to do a liquid concealer or anything, I would put that on first and then apply this on top. It's just so easy that it's perfect for the summertime when you want to have minimal steps to your routine. The next foundation to discuss comes from Wet n Wild and this is actually on sale. I was on their website recently and they have discounted it almost 50%. So it used to be right around $8.99 and I saw it around $4 and something, $4.59, somewhere in that range. So this is a really great deal these days. That does make me sad though because I don't know how much longer they will keep it around but I'm also optimistic that maybe if they don't keep this limited edition packaging, that they would repackage it and keep it in their collection, maybe in a squeezy tube or something. 
but this is a little bit more of a lightweight product. It's extremely dewy, so I highly recommend setting it down, but this is one product that just wears so beautifully throughout the day, and I feel like the longer I have it on, the more natural it looks, the more that it combines with my skin's natural oils, and it just looks dewy and radiant and natural. And if you want to look like you're not really wearing makeup, I would recommend any of these, but definitely this one. If you want to look like you don't have a base on, but you just have very healthy skin, I would recommend this. And this final product to mention comes with the most coverage and also the most sunscreen. This has SPF 30, so again, perfect for a beach day or just a summery day. Now this, I would say, is on the edge of being light medium to medium, but if you really build it up, you can get closer to a full coverage. It's not going to completely cancel out everything. This is not Urban Decay Born this way. It's nowhere near that much coverage, but for a BB cream, it definitely can be manipulated. I'm saying BB cream, it's technically classified as a tinted moisturizer, but this is, again, very, very natural on the skin. Now, the difference with this one, it's the most thick out of all the ones that I have to mention, which is probably why it has better coverage than the other ones, but it just has this very, very creamy texture to it, and again, it makes the skin look very dewy, and with all of these, I don't find them to be super smoothing or anything like that, so, you know, if you do have some more accentuated pores, I would definitely recommend pairing these with a pore-filling primer or something like that because these will almost accentuate that, almost, and it's not accentuate, it's just that it's not a smoothing product, so it's just going to kind of go over the pores and you will still see them, so I want to point that out, but all of these just look like skin. This one, again, it has a little bit more coverage to it, but it is just so natural on top of the skin, and it's easy for the summertime if you want to pair something with a pretty decent level of SPF. So those were my top recommendations for lightweight slash light coverage, light to medium coverage foundations that look like your skin that are almost undetectable on the face. So I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have other light finish, light finish, what? Weight, light weight, that's the word I was looking for. Foundations to recommend, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.